AEW's Jeff Hardy arrested for DUI. WWE unveils second class of next in line signees. Troy two times Donovan comments on WWE release. Zack Sabre Jr. challenges Brian Danielson for AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling's Forbidden Door. Interim AEW World Championship match set for Forbidden Door. Paige on WWE not renewing her contract, future in-ring career, and current health. Hey everyone, happy Monday. It is Denise Salcedo and we got tons of news stories for you here today on the latest, so let's get right to it. Jeff Hardy has been arrested and charged with driving under the influence. Arrest records in Volusia County, Florida show that Hardy was booked at 12.45 a.m. on Monday, June 13th. He has been charged with one count each of driving under the influence of drugs and alcohol. This is his third offense in 10 years, driving with a canceled, suspended, revoked license, and violating restrictions placed on a driver's license. Hardy is scheduled to appear in front of a judge on Tuesday, June 14th at 1.30 p.m. Jeff Hardy was also arrested and charged with driving under the influence on October 3rd, 2019 in Moore County, North Carolina. He was arrested for public intoxication in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina on July 13th, 2019 as well. Hardy served 10 days in jail in 2011 after pleading guilty to charges of possession of a controlled substance and one count of conspiracy to traffic. Hardy is currently scheduled for a triple threat ladder match on Dynamite this week along with his brother against Jurassic Express and the Young Bucks. He is also scheduled to be at Triple Mania 30 in Tijuana with his brother, Matt Hardy. WWE has unveiled its second class of Next In Line program signees. The class consists of 15 college athletes from 14 different universities, 7 NCAA conferences, and 7 sports. WWE touts that the class includes its first Next In Line athletes from cheer and dance, gymnastics, volleyball, men's basketball, and representation from the HBCU program. The Next In Line program was started by WWE after the NCAA began allowing athletes to profit off their name, image, and likeness while still in college. Athletes who sign nil deals with WWE receive access to the WWE Performance Center along with resources in brand building, media training, communications, live event promotion, creative writing, and community relations. Upon completion of the program, select athletes may be offered a WWE contract. Troy Two Dimes Donovan has confirmed that he's no longer with WWE. Dave Meltzer reported on Sunday night that Donovan, who had been part of the NXT roster, was released by WWE on June 11th. Meltzer wrote that Donovan's release was due to a policy issue and that Donovan was told he may be brought back in a year. Donovan confirmed the release in a tweet on Monday morning saying, quote, Thank you to everyone who's reached out. Mistakes happen and lessons are learned. A bump in the road doesn't define me, though. I'll be back. On NXT's television, Donovan was a member of Tony D'Angelo's mob family. He was part of a tag team with Channing Stacks Lorenzo. They had recently defeated Legado del Fantasma at NXT In Your House earlier this month. The next two weeks of NXT episodes were taped at the Performance Center last week and included Donovan appearing. WWE has announced a new addition to its 2022 pay-per-view schedule. Today, it was revealed that Extreme Rules 2022 will take place at the Wells Fargo Center on Saturday, October 8th. WWE previously didn't have a pay-per-view event scheduled for October. Tickets for Extreme Rules will go on sale for the general public on Friday, July 15th at 10 a.m. Zack Sabre Jr. called out Brian Danielson in a backstage promo following this match at New Japan Dominion on Sunday. Zack Sabre Jr. said, quote, American Dragon, can you take some time out of your busy golfing schedule at the Blackpool Country Club to find out who the best technical wrestler in the world is? But I'll tell you now, darling, it's effing me. Brian Danielson had spoken about Zack Sabre Jr. in a previous interview in which he said, quote, We have two very different styles of technical wrestling. We wrestled in 2008 and he was just a kid, but I was super impressed with him. He's grown into this amazing wrestler and I don't ever recall seeing anyone wrestle with his technique. Danielson and Zack Sabre Jr. are the only two wrestlers since 2004 to win the Brian Danielson Best Technical Wrestler Award in the Wrestling Observer Newsletter Awards. Danielson won the award every year from 2005 until 2013. It was then named after him in 2016. 
Zack Sabre Jr. won the award consecutively from 2014 until 2020. Danielson then claimed the award for a 10th time last year. Jon Moxley's opponent in the interim AEW World Championship match at Forbidden Door is set following New Japan Pro Wrestling's Dominion show. Hiroshi Tanahashi defeated Hiroki Goto to advance in the Eliminator Tournament to crown an interim AEW World Champion at Dominion and will now face Jon Moxley in Chicago on June 26 at AEW New Japan Pro Wrestling Forbidden Door. The first ever AEW All-Atlantic Championship will also be crowned at Forbidden Door with a four-way tournament final, the only other match announced for the event thus far. Paige has spoken out about her upcoming departure from WWE. Despite them not renewing her contract, she is still appreciative of the company. I really am, she said. They helped me so much, they got me a therapist when I had drinking and alcohol issues. They kept me a long time even after my next surgery sitting on my ass. I felt like I had so much left to give there as someone who can cut a decent promo and do a managerial role. It is what it is. She also clarified that she had a no non-compete clause, meaning she is free after July 7th. Paige also reiterated that it was not her choice to leave WWE, saying, WWE doesn't want to re-sign me, it's not my decision, I don't want anyone to think it was my decision to walk away. She expressed frustration that WWE took their time in responding to her request and inquiries about re-signing with the company, but she said she understands why WWE ultimately decided to not re-sign her. Paige said she was the most healthy she had ever been her entire career and felt like she could compete in the ring again. When asked about possibly joining another wrestling promotion, Paige said sure, if the money is right. Well, there you have it, a loaded episode here today. As always, make sure that you guys share your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to F4W Online, give this video a like, and I'll see you over on my podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling, where I'm live three times a week on this channel, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Until next time, I'll see you all later. Bye, everyone.